Welcome to another video. This one is a quick explanation of why you don't want to run cheap or Chinese injectors. And uh, as you can see here, I have three sets of spark plugs. One's missing there, but ignore that. And um, yeah, so I was installing, I installed a set of 800cc KSM injectors, which are known to be Chinese injectors. So uh, yeah. They are also known to have problems. I was aware of that. That's why I'm monitoring NOC, EGTs, etc. But still, there are some problems you cannot see with either of these things. And that is what you can see right here. Or rather, let's start with this set. So this set, as you can see, is kind of the same throughout all three spark plugs. It's not too... Well, not too brown, not too white. It's kind of on the brown side and a little bit black on the rim where it's indicated that there is full load. So you would see this or the tip of the spark plug would be reading more of uh, idle and path throttle. And then down here, that would be the load section. And that's where it obviously gets richer and therefore is uh, more black. And in this case, all of the spark plugs are very similar to each other. If we go down to this one, well, we see a difference. Three of them are quite black or quite dark, and one of them is almost white. The white part indicates that this spark plug was running rather lean or rather hot, and that is on island part throttle, and the other ones were running quite rich. So that means one injector is obviously not doing the same thing as the others are. So this is what happens when you don't buy matched injectors or although most genuine injectors are within a few percent of each other. And um, yeah, Chinese injectors can have problems like this so that they have uh, much different flow rates. Also, they sometimes stick open. So that's uh, something you really don't want because that can actually lock up your engine and damage it to a point yeah, where it's really not a good time. But in this case, one cylinder was running quite a bit leaner and it's good that I did not go like full throttle for a long pull or anything because that might have actually uh, done damage to my engine. In this case, I put about 10% into the injector trim tables. So that means I put in 10% on this injector uh, as an addition because I knew it was running leaner and then I got this While the other injectors are more closer to brownish and this one is still kind of white grayish The difference is a little bit less, but still very noticeable So I'm going to run about 20% now and see if that's better in the next time the next time around. But as I said, I would not recommend running Chinese injectors and that is exactly the reason why. Because you cannot see it with the AFR value because if one is running leaner, the other, th other three are just running a little bit richer and the AFR would seem fine. Same goes for the exhaust gas temperature. If you don't have individual cylinder monitoring, then you wouldn't know if one, for example, is running leaner and therefore hotter. So always keep this in mind. And that's why I'm also going to change to some genuine Bosch injectors in the future with a 1AT fuel rail on my 4AG turbo. You gotta keep in mind this only was at 0.3 bar and uh, very, very relaxed or relatively conservative timing and only a max of 600 degrees of exhaust gas temperature measured in the collector. That's basically just a quick PSA about Chinese injectors and why you maybe don't want to cheap out on your injectors because that's one of the most important things um, in your engine that is safety wise. People may say, well, you can just run richer, but yes, even if you run a very rich 11.0 AFR and the one injector is still lagging like 10-15% behind, then that cylinder would still run at like 13-13.5 AFR and that is actually dangerous when running um, on normal fuel and turbo. So please take that into consideration or keep that in mind and maybe pull out your spark plugs once in a while and check them out. That's it for me. I wish you a nice day and goodbye.